Uh, just a, a few a brief information about Cyprus. Cyprus is the latest of EU countries you know, uh, who apply the national health system. This has created several, several of the issues of drug shortages, apparently tendering on the public healthcare sector and the free market on the, on the private healthcare sector. Uh, we have discussed about the inequality in access to healthcare, which has uh, which led to Cyprus being the EU country with the, um, the phenomenon that out-of-pocket payment exceeds the public funding, which apparently was a, was a source of shortages in the previous years. Of course, currently we have several issues with the geographical location of Cyprus. And now one of the main obstacles uh, towards sustainable access of pharmaceuticals in Cyprus is the transition from the tender-based system to the competitive free market uh, one as it operates now under the national health system uh, and which was launched in uh, 2019. One of the obstacles we faced was the minimum order quantity and in absolute terms the minimum order quantities for Cyprus are quite low as you can imagine. Therefore this has <coughs> raised barriers for uh, for the introduction of several products in Cyprus, we managed to mitigate the problem with joint procurement, with joint uh, ordering from Greece. But apparently, there are some regulatory issue with the primary SPC uh, that, in, in certain cases, this is not uh, feasible. So, um, in the past uh, two years, we faced several issues of shortages. Apparently, many of them had to do with Brexit. As a former um, British colony, we had some close ties with the uh, uh, UK, so we have to find alternative sources of medicine for Cyprus. Of course, the uncertainty uh, which is stemming out of the introduction of a brand new healthcare system creates several um, shortages regarding to the uh, forecasting of needs of an unknown environment. Uh, of course, the ban of on, on exports from UK, uh, the COVID-related ban, further augmented the Brexit issue. We had the serialization. Of course, there's more market. Uh, we were primarily affected by the reduction of flights uh, due to COVID. As, um, as an island, this is one of the major obstacles currently. And of course, the reimbursement system, the new reimbursement system, which implies that the cheapest product in each category um, is, uh, is dispensed for free, led several industries to the so-called uh, price dumping, um, then got the cheapest status, but apparently at the same time they didn't have the requested or the necessary quantities in order to provide goods to the pharmacies. Um, now if we try to elucidate the, the main issue, the main concerns of Cyprus regarding shortages, uh, in contrast to the other um, countries, we face some issues in uh, primarily ATCN categories and um, C, cardiological. And uh, if we go deeper to the ATC4, our main source of concern is statins, vasodilators, and the Bilipti product, which is, I think uh, it should be our first concern. Uh, with blockers, PPIs, antidepressants. And uh, some steroids, especially parental um, steroids, we have, which have been uh, on high demand. And regarding our actions to extenuate the impact, we coordinate with uh, manufacturers to step up productions. Uh, we procure medicines from embassies. We have introduced the context of maximum quantities for, for deliveries. We have been heavily involved the patient associations. We adapted and modified the Ireland's um, classification of uh, shortages based on impact on public health. We, have man we are considering the production of conditions in order for a product to be classified as the cheapest in each category. We are trying to shift from single winner to a multi-winner tendering context. And in this approach, introduce of MEA managed entry and agreement instead of tendering. We collaborate with the pharmaceutical services in order to disseminate shortages, since this is a regulatory uh, matter. 
We collaborate with pharmaceutical pharmacies association in order to collect data from the field um, on an early stage. And of course, we have reinvented the definition of the short of the term shortages in the context of Cyprus uh, reimbursement environment. And since it is the last uh, presentation in the cost action, I would like to thank everybody from for some very fruitful and construct, constructive conversation that we had all over these years and I hope that this will continue in the years to come.